Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am gonna be showing you the best and the easiest way to make DIY body butter. This stuff right here is the best body butter, body lotion, whatever you wanna call it that I have ever used in my entire life and I have tried a lot of lotions in my lifetime. But this, hands down, this is the best. After you use this, you are literally gonna look like you just took a bath in liquid gold. That is how shimmering and just glowy this makes your skin. As you guys can see, I am wearing it right now. If you're thinking to yourself, there is no way that I'm gonna be able to make this DIY body butter. Trust me, as someone who does not cook, I am gonna be taking you step-by-step, -step, measurement by measurement, to show you how to make this. So even if you have never cooked in your life, you are gonna be able to make this body butter. And if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Audrey, and I make videos here on YouTube all about beauty, sharing my best tips and tricks, and also experiments. So if you guys wanna see more, make sure you subscribe. And now without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Let's start with the ingredients. There are four ingredients that I use for this body butter, shea butter, cocoa butter, beeswax, and almond oil. All of the ingredients I use, I order from Amazon, and I will link them in the description. First, I start off with one and a quarter cup of raw unrefined shea butter. This is going to soften your skin. It's also anti-inflammatory, so if you have any irritation on your skin, shea butter will really help with that. This is one of my favorite all natural ingredients to use on my skin. I use it on my face sometimes, just everywhere. You can even use this on your hair. So this is the main ingredient, I would say, in this body butter. Then you wanna use a little over half a cup of cocoa butter. Cocoa butter is high in fatty acids. So it's going to form this protective layer over your skin to hold in moisture. Cocoa butter is also extremely hard and it's really difficult to cut. So your best bet is to use some sort of peeler or just some sort of cheese grater to cut it up instead of using a knife. And then you're gonna use a little over half a cup of beeswax pellets. Beeswax is beneficial for your skin because it forms a protective barrier by sealing in moisture. It's also extremely low on the comedogenic scale, which means it more than likely will not clog your pores. And then finally, you wanna add the same amount of almond oil, a little over half a cup. You can honestly add more if you want, but the more almond oil that you add, the more oily the body butter is going to be. And if you like that, then just add more. But I would say the standard amount is a little over half a cup of almond oil. And these measurements are gonna make a body butter that will fill a 16 ounce jar like this one. Once you have all of your ingredients prepped and ready to go, you're then gonna do what's called the double boil method. The double boil method is a gentler way to heat things up on the stove. In this case, it's gonna melt the shea butter the cocoa butter, the wax pellets together, but it's not going to get them too hot. And this is really important because if they get too hot, then they're gonna start to lose their benefits. So you don't wanna apply it onto direct heat. So to double boil, I put five cups of water to boil on the stove. Once the water is boiling, I just wait a few minutes before turning the burner off. Then I just put this metal mixing bowl in the pot and I place all of the ingredients in the mixing bowl. When the ingredients are melting together, you're gonna need to stand by because as soon as they're fully melted, you need to take it off the stove just so that the mixture doesn't get too hot. I usually have a silicone spatula to break everything up to help the process along because sometimes it can take a long time for this mixture to melt. So once everything is melted, you're gonna cover the bowl with plastic wrap and stick it in the fridge. And once it looks and feel solid, just take it out of the fridge and now you're going to whip it. 
So the best thing to use when you are whipping your shea butter is a mixer like this one because you're going to need to mix it for 10 minutes. Sometimes I even mix my body butter for 20 minutes depending on how long I've left it in the fridge and I am just going to assume that no one wants to use a hand mixer for 20 minutes. So you want to mix it until it has this whipped looking consistency. It's going to look and feel really, really smooth and trust me when you think it's at a good consistency, you need to keep going. On this day, I had the mixer on for 20 minutes. So just like when you were double boiling, you also just want to be on standby as this thing is mixing. Then you're going to put all of the body butter into some sort of airtight jar. So I want it to be a little extra in this video. I put everything into a plastic bag and then I squeezed it into a jar, but you do not need to do this. I don't usually do this. I just want it to be extra and it didn't even come out that good. So just don't even do this. You can literally just scoop it out of the mixing bowl into the airtight container and then you're good to go. And here is the finished product. Just an FYI, the body butter is going to harden just a little bit after it settles in the jar. Nothing like the cocoa butter consistency at the beginning of this video, but it, it is just going to harden a little bit. You guys will see in a few minutes. So before you use the body butter, you need to know this very specific way to apply it that's going to help you get the most benefits from the body butter and is also going to help you keep it as non-contaminated as possible. So first of all, try not to use your finger to scoop it out of the container because that can just be a really easy way to contaminate the body butter. Instead, you wanna use some sort of skincare spatula. Mine is from Amazon. I just scoop a little bit out and then I start rubbing it between my hands and rubbing it between your hands is essential. It's kind of like when you rub shampoo between your hands before applying it to your hair. It's the same concept. Warming it up between your hands will help to get the body butter at a consistency where it's just a lot easier to apply it to your skin. So it's really gonna bring out the oils in the body butter and it's gonna turn the body butter from this consistency to this consistency. I use the body butter right after getting out of the shower because a lot of the ingredients help to retain moisture on your skin. It's good to use this on semi-damp skin to lock in all of that moisture. This body butter is thick. It is really gonna smooth out your skin. It's gonna soften your skin and moisturize it, but it is gonna get a little messy at times. In my opinion though, the slight messiness is worth the end result. And the end result is super smooth, glowing skin that looks like it's radiating gold. It's just amazing and it is definitely worth the occasional mess. This has been my step-by-step -step guide to making body butter at home. I really hope that this tutorial was helpful for you guys. And if anyone ends up making this, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys next time.